So guys, one of you suggested that I should make a tutorial on how to make a depth charge. So let's try and do that. I haven't really thought this through, but I think it should be relatively easy. Uh, let me just build a random platform to demonstrate the, the depth charge using. I think this is enough space because I can actually I'm gonna build two versions because I could um, rotate put it in there. Yeah. Now let's make this flat form float. And this should float now. Let's put the main seat and see. Floats. Now let's build the actual depth charge. So I think the secret would be to just have heavy weights. I think that should be enough. And where are the blue things at here? Then maybe move them to the top of it. Should we add? Okay, I'm gonna build multiple versions of this. The first one is gonna be simple, nothing, just solid material, and then <clears throat> take dynamite. And done. This is it. For the second one, there's something wrong with yep, this one. Rotate, 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 rotate. Okay, for the second one, I'm gonna add an engine. This one. An underwater propeller. Same size, but well, let's connect this one. Sort of connection bits out here. Pretty good work. Yes. But we also need some. Um, we're gonna need this. Where's it at? Should be enough. And this 
this. Oh, nice. Yep, this should be enough. For the third option. Actually, I think these are all the ones we need. Attach them to the west of it and copy this. Nope, copy this. Now I think it should be enough. Let's cancel these, cancel these, and then attach the seat. Yeah, we could just have any random target in here. Surprise, we can't directly attach this. Okay. This is good enough. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we gotta set them to release at certain points. So this at one, this when we click on two. Okay. Let's try one. Seems to have worked. But now let's try two. I want to see what's happened, so let's place this. These. Let's try one. Yep, and then two. Yeah, both work. Or try one and two. There's a clear speed difference, but that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I guess the only thing left for us to do is to check if they actually would destroy something. Um. Now here. Let's build some sort of platform. Two? 
one and two. Two? Is it the distance? Do we just not have enough of it? Was the second one that works? Hmm. That's kind of odd. I guess it's not terribly hard to make it work. We just have to have these in here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And set the distance to, I guess that's fine. Two, three. Four. Select these two, one, two, three, and four. Let's try now. Yep, that's oh, it landed right in the gap. how you make them. So this would work 100% of the time. The only trick is you need to put a distance um, detector in front of it. And that's all. It's really easy. I guess next time I might make a tutorial on how to make torpedoes, I think they would be more challenging. Because with these, you just want them to sink. Um, but with torpedoes, you want them to be buoyant enough to, to make them not float or sink. So just stay in there, you know, level. back to build mode yep <clears throat> so the only difference between the two versions is this one is faster and this one is slower both work just fine and yeah this is a short episode see you guys next time peace